and it is week three abs so this time we are going one circuit three rounds and there is only a 30 second rest in between enjoy all right let's get started dip it down side to side as always just our nice easy abs warm up to get us going Keep the shoulders back, keep the back straight. Just breathe. So three rounds of it today, only a 30 second break in between. Take the feet wide, reach it up, tap over to the opposite toe. Keep your legs as straight as you can. arms right up we want to get that twist right across the tummy so some new challenges for you today as well which of course is what we're aiming for and twist it side to side big turns And then we're gonna take it from the top, dip it side to side. Make sure that bend is coming in the side and you're not leaning yourself forward. Shoulders back. And then take the feet a bit wider, tap the opposite toe, and reach yourself up. So just under 30 minutes ahead if you're keeping up with my pace. And then last 30 seconds, twist it side to side to finish our warm up. So we are going to start in our plank position today as well. So you will need to come down to the floor on your front. And let's go round one, 20 reps. Come into your plank position. We're taking it to a rolling plank this time. So you're gonna roll forward and back over your toes, bring the shoulders and the body forward, and then bring it back. If you're taking the option on your toes here, make sure that you keep your bum down and that your whole body is coming forward and back. Now, if you're finding this too difficult, you can come down on your toes here and you can lower your bum and your hips towards the floor. If you're taking this option, just make sure that you're not thrusting your hips towards the floor, but you're using your tummy muscles to control that action down and up. Well done. Superman plank. Again, hands and toes to start if you can. Alternate raising the opposite arm and leg. So you really need to secure the opposite hand into the floor and you'll really need to pull that belly in. Now a lot of you are probably finding this a bit difficult, so if you need to, bring it down onto your knees. Just wanna make sure you're not overly arching that back. And here's a third option, if you need it, come into your box position and take it from your box. Three options there, pick which one works for you and you have plenty of opportunity to try and take it to a higher level if you feel you can. 
but really brace the belly muscles in. That's it, good. Back down into that plank position, let's go. You're going to alternate tapping the knees down here. To the count of 40, so one each side is one rep, so it's a very quick round here. Brace the belly in, alternate the tap. Almost there already. And well done. Back onto your back. You've got your heel oblique taps. So lock the back down, crunch it up, reach it around to the same heel. Back to center and bring the head down. Keep breathing. I'm always going to keep reminding you to breathe. It'd be amazing how many times you'll realize that you're not. <laughs> it's what I'm here for, team. So up, bring it round, back and down. Almost there. Excellent, change sides. Bring it round, up and down. Up, round, up and down. Good work. How are we doing so far? We want to go quick succession between exercises and then get on with our day. Best way to do it. How's that pace for you as well? Are you able to keep up? Last one. Good. Crunch and twist. So bend the knees. Come all the way up, twist it side to side, and then roll yourself down. So hands together as you twist. Keep the shoulders back. We have done this one before, but I always like to remind you of your technique. Just want you to concentrate on what you're doing and breathing. Here's your option if you need it. You can just keep the back down and alternate crunching it outside the opposite knee. That's if you need it. Otherwise, all the way up, twist it, and come down. And again, how are you finding that pace? How are you finding the high number of reps as well? Keep those shoulders back. Breathe, twist, and roll that spine down. Don't plonk yourself. Excellent, moving on. Double to single leg raises. So, legs down and up, and then one of each leg individually. Both legs down, up, one of each. So you can bring your hand underneath your butt cheek, just to help keep that back locked on the floor. Now I know this may be quite difficult for a lot of you, or it may make your hip click. So if that's the option, here, bend your knees, tap the feet down that way. Whichever option you take, again, imagine I am standing on your stomach and your back is completely locked flat to that floor. If you find that you're overly arching your back, then take the lower option. And breathe. This is one of those exercises where you do need a reminder to breathe. Those high reps you're really going to feel on this one. So take your time, back down. So many of you often ask me how to work the lower part of your abs, um, especially women who have had a baby, um, that lower part of you just above your, um, your pelvic area. 
So this is a really good way of working that. Now it is harder when you have a longer lever like your legs, but then it's more effective. But if you need to pick that option of the knees bent, then you go ahead. Stay with me team. That's it, excellent. Crunch all the way up. So all the way up and then roll yourself down. I know it's similar to the crunch and twist, but we have a different focus here. So swing it all the way up. Here's your option. Many of you may find it very difficult to get yourself all the way up. So if that's the case, just take it here as high as you can. And roll that spine down. This time though, you wanna try and keep your feet as locked down as you can. And you are coming all the way up. That crunch and twist, you didn't quite come up so high. This is your complete circuit. So you get your first 30 second rest in just a moment. That's it, and rest, 30 seconds. So not a lot of time, but we wanna keep it quick, this circuit, we just go straight from one to the other. So just breathe, grab a drink if you need it. Remember you're starting back down in your rolling plank, so you'll need to come onto your front. Your break is ending team, let's go. Round two, let's go again. 20 reps, rolling plank, off we go. So just check if you've brought yourself up into a sort of downward dog position with your bum right up in the air. That's not what we want. Now, if this is a challenge, again, here's your option. Take it from the knees, but I just really want you to focus on making sure your belly muscles are controlling that action and you're not just thrusting yourself up and down. Last one, good work. And come onto your hands and toes for your Superman plank. Alternate, reaching it out. Remember, you have you have three options here. So this is the highest. Really push that palm through the floor. Bring it down to your knees here if you need. And again, keep that belly pulled in. Or. Bring it back to your box. Can you do a little bit in a lower option and come up to a higher count if you can? Alternate between the two if you need to. Last one, well done. Plank knee taps. Back down, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Breathe. Well done. On your back again, reach it round. Tap to the heel, head up and down. Let's go. You wanna power through. You're halfway through your entire workout, guys. That includes the stretch. Breathe, head up, reach it round. Keep that lower back locked down. The work here comes from bringing those shoulder blades up and reaching round. Now 
that's the other side. So again, these are the real waist shaping exercises. We don't just want to concentrate on those six pack muscles. I know I've said this before. We want to focus on all of the components of our abs and our lower back as well. This is why we constantly keep our lower back locked down. We want to keep that strong, weaken the lower back, weaken the tummy muscles. They work together. Everything in the body works together. Well done. Crunch and twist. Let's go. Bring it up. Twist it. Twist it. Roll it down. Shoulders back. And remember, you have options. If this is too difficult, just crunch it and reach outside the opposite knee. Alternating. Otherwise, full version here. How are we doing, team? Hopefully, those abs are burning. Hopefully, they're feeling the work here. If they're not yet, there's plenty of time. Don't you worry about that. Good. Your double to single leg raises. Oh, no. Not these ones, Tara. Yep. So bring it down and up. One. And two. And down and up. Please make sure you're breathing. I know I keep saying it, really, really focus on what your lower back is doing. So important. Bend the knees here, if you need the option. Otherwise, if you can, straight legs. One, two. Hey, you're nearly at your second break. You just need to finish these. You've got one more exercise. And then you get your next rest. Stay with me, team. How are we doing? Are we breathing? Last one. Good. Crunch all the way up. This is your last one and you get your second break. So all the way up and down. Roll that spine down. We really want to roll the spine. Keep those arms straight option if you need it is here keep the back down and take the shoulders as high as you can otherwise if you can full version keep those feet locked down 
can you do this with your feet locked down on your own without somebody else having to hold them down for you? Just a few more. And rest, 30 seconds. You've got your final round. Can you bear with me just for one more run through? How are you finding now that extra round as well? As we're progressing through the program, we are going to increase the intensity. We are gonna make it longer and harder. So let's go. One more. Rolling plank. Let's go. But you'll be an expert on these exercises by this round. You know exactly what you're doing. So now you can work on taking the higher option or increasing that pace. So try and quicken it without sacrificing technique, of course, team. Here's your option, as always. With either option here, pull the belly in and breathe. That's it, good. Back to your supermans. Let's go. Belly in. Bum down and breathe. Option. Knees. And option three, as always, your box. Almost there. Excellent. Back to your plank knee taps. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go, go. Nice and quick. Belly in and breathe. That's it, good work. On your back again. Last time today, reach it round, let's go. These are the kind of exercise for some of you, you may not quite feel it as you're doing it. Sometimes people say to me, Tara, this doesn't feel like it's working anything. Not every exercise has to be pure torture. Trust me, it is doing something. It is doing a lot. And change sides. Let's go round, up, down. Round, back, down. How are we feeling now, now that we're in that third round? You know what's coming ahead, but you know how to get through it quickly. That's it, good. Crunch and twist. Let's go. Up, twist twist, roll it down.
And there's always option here, again, if you need reminding. Otherwise, full version. If you are taking that lower option, remember, reaching outside each side counts as one rep. So if you're doing the whole exercise in that lower version, you'd need to count to 40. Twist, twist, roll it down. That's it, good. Oh guys, last time, double the single leg raises. Last time, let's go. That's it, hands under the butt if you need it. One, two, up, down, up, that's it. Of course, here's the option, bend the knees. Some of you might find that your hips click when you bring it down. Um, I have said this before, it might not be hurting you, but take the lower option if that is the case, just not to weaken the area. Otherwise, here. Hey team, after this, did you remember that there's only one more exercise in your circuit? And then you are done. Completely done. That's exciting, isn't it? Remember, belly down and breathe. Stay with me guys. There are minutes until you walk away from this completely. Stretch done. Last one if you're keeping up with me. Well done and crunch all the way up. This is your last one, let's go. All the way up and roll it down. And remember your option. Keep that back solid against that floor. We are about to take this home team. This is it. Let's go. Please don't give up now. Please do finish the set. Please finish it. This is it, and you're done, well done. Hug your knees in, just rock it side to side to release your lower back. Drop the knees to one side. How are we? We're exhausted, Tara. What did you just put us through? That's what you're probably saying. <laughs> Change. It's worth it though for the strength, the tone, the benefit you get to your body. It's worth it for how good you feel when you're done. You're allowed to feel a bit smug after a workout. It is fully acceptable. In fact, you should. <laughs> 
Come on up. Open up the chest. Just give the arms and the chest a stretch after that plank work. It is that simple, team. Stretch it to one side. Oh, and the other. And twist it side to side. That's it. Up on your toes. This is that best bit. You're done, team. Congratulations. See you next time.